Did you know that Shopify has released Online Store 2.0 and with that, a new free theme? In today's video, I'm going to show you all of the amazing new features that come with Online Store 2.0, as well as show you Shopify's newest theme, Dawn. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, dropshipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. Shopify has two templates set up for you, default and craft. Let's take a look at the default preset first. Okay, so here it is, very clean and organized design. It makes the products the focus, which I love. All of these sections that you see here are customizable, of course, but speaking of sections, that brings me to the first 2.0 update, and that is you can now have sections on every single page. So normally you would only have sections on your home page. So if you wanted to customize, say your product page or your contact page, you would need to install an app or hire a developer to customize it for you. With the update, you now have sections on every single page so that you can customize everything to your liking. Down at the bottom here, you can see they've built in a currency converter and a language translator right into the theme. That is super helpful. Now let's take a look at the products page. Again, very clean. You have room for four products across, which is excellent. It gets more products in front of your visitors. And then we get to this, which brings me to update number two, and that is that you can now filter collections by availability, price, and more. So this used to be done by tags alone, and it looks super spammy, and it was honestly really unhelpful. So this is a great new feature. Now we're going to take a look at an individual product page. You can see you've got all the product options clearly displayed, which is great. I love the design. Dawn also includes these collapsible tabs. You can customize these however you like and even choose the icons. Dawn also includes a lookbook page, which includes a mix of both photos and video. This looks amazing on mobile as well. That's it for Dawn, now let's move on to the second preset, Craft. The first thing I noticed with Craft was that there was no hero banner. Instead, they have these photos, and the large one on the left is linked to the dinnerware collection. Lots of sections here to play around with and fill in as you desire. Craft puts an emphasis on blogs, so as you can see, there are several articles featured here on the homepage. And then of course those same great features, the currency and language converters at the bottom. While we look at the products page, I will tell you about update number three, and that is the addition of meta fields. This is going to allow you to create custom product information such as part numbers, color swatches, launch dates, related products, blog post summaries, files for download, and etc. I noticed on the mobile version that there was a zoom feature which I thought was pretty cool. Now 
Next, we have the blog area. While we take a look through here, I'll cover the fourth and final update, and that is that you can now install or change apps without touching any code by using app blocks. The last thing we are going to check out is the About Us page, and here you can really see the power of sections. There are so many ways to customize each of your pages that even with thousands of people using the same theme, no two will look the same. You can make your free theme look like it was custom made just for you. If you want to see a tutorial on any of the new features, let me know in the comments below, and while you're there, let me know which new feature you are the most excited about. If this video helped you, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.